use yours, show us your talent. solving dilemmas but it's also going to be like a mukbang so we'll be eating food from chicken republic so and this is going to be our first time trying the chick ways so we ask um, questions on our Insta instagram i also asked on snapchat actually yeah, snapchat that i got actual oh. questions so let me just get them before we start eating okay Start or start. You can start. Okay. So the first question is self esteem. Okay. What's about it? She just put self esteem. I kid. <laughs> <laughs> Any question? Maybe having self esteem issues or how to mm, do how to deal with this. Okay. Let's, let's. I feel like personally that's something I have dealt with as well. Mm -hmm. Like. I like everybody has dealt with this. Yeah, self esteem. Yeah. I think um, what has helped me. Okay, I guys. So, actually, some of the footage was lost because the camera just decided to stop halfway. But we'll be, we will definitely be doing a part two to this video for the questions that were not asked. So, catch us on the, in that one. Guys, I'm trying to increase for the first time. Mm -hmm. Have a bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, I hope. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Everybody say yeah! Yeah! yeah. This is good. <laughs> Praise God! <laughs> <laughs> mm, actually, really nice. It's good. I don't know why I can't taste any sauce tonight, so I'm gonna dip it in ketchup. I'm actually good, guys. I'm proud. <laughs> okay. Let me see the next question. Hey. Okay. So I let me choose first. He says, he, oh, he says, I want to get with a Christian girl who is waiting to marriage. Discuss. <laughs> Five marks. <laughs> Right, I don't know what that means. What do you think? I want to get a Christian girl. Do I have to wait till marriage? Or what do you think? I want to get a Christian girl. Please wait I don't know what that means. One eternity later. I'm posing like he's saying mm -hmm. that he doesn't want to wait till marriage. But then that's her choice. That's her choice now. Like there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I don't think you guys are on, on the same page first of exactly. first of all. So, so it, it probably would not work because convincing her is not even the right thing to do. Yeah, because if that's her choice, like mm. I feel like you should not like ask her like interrogate her like yeah. why, but you should ask her why then respect why she has chosen, chosen to do that, that. Mm. before you can move forward. Yeah, there's really yeah. nothing you can do there's at this point, unfortunately. Alright, next question. <laughs> How do we know when to leave a relationship? Mm. Uh. Okay, yeah, literally. Mm -hmm. But then you know, it's kind of relative. True. Because people's perspective on what toxic, toxic yeah. is different. Um. Sometimes it's not even the obvious things. Like I mentioned in my previous video, um, anything that seems like that makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. Or what I mean, like toxic. Yeah. Person. What might be toxic to you might be. What might not be talking to me yeah. so when you start feeling some type of way yeah some type of way like you're feeling yeah. like unhappy in the if you feel unhappy in the relationship um you feel uncomfortable, you uncomfortable like yeah you don't exactly exactly i think that's the, yeah mm -hmm. see i don't know how i'm getting full all of a sudden <laughs> 
battling inadequacy. Mm -hmm. Okay, battling this person have trouble. <laughs> <laughs> inadequate thoughts triggered by what you see others do. Hmm. I've actually spoken to someone about this before. Hmm. Wow. This as well. I like I'm very competitive. Mm -hmm. So I like to compare myself a lot with people and anything I see. Like social media mm -hmm. shows the perfect world, the perfect life, and like you start to think less of yourself mm -hmm. once, once I enter that explore <laughs> especially. <laughs> <laughs> I think sometimes it's also important to stay away from social media yeah. when you feel like it's getting too much. Because I did that for some time and I think it helped me. Yeah. Um, but also knowing, knowing like I, like we said initially, knowing your worth and knowing who you are in Christ, knowing that you're the shit, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, no one can talk, talk yeah, about and, you. Yeah, and like everybody's unique. Yeah. Like everybody is unique in I their own way. Keep saying to everyone. There's nobody else like you. Literally. Like I'm, as, I know I'm as saying cliche it. As yeah, it I know I'm saying that it sounds really cliche, but <laughs> if you think about it, like mm. why are you comparing yourself? Like why do I compare myself? To yeah. Mm. We don't look alike. <laughs> not, like we're nothing alike. Mm. So even if she's successing in something, mm. who says if I do it, like mm. I'll be successful? So mm. how would I not put myself in her shoes and say, mm. "Oh, bruh, she can't do this," and I'm um, here sitting down or something, something? I don't yeah. want to talk about something like that. Like, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like basically, I was saying that if you feel that type of way, I feel like you should just take a little break. Break. Yeah. Care. It just but means that it just, it's getting to you. Yeah. Like it's, it's in your it's social media is in your face, exactly. literally. And you don't know what, like, you know the way they take pictures of people. Mm. They make it like they set and everything. Lighting. Exactly. Like they edit it. That's like life, basically. That's Instagram. Yeah. Everything is edited. They don't know if the person was in the swarms. <laughs> <laughs> that place looks nice mm. for the person. You don't even know how the person got into that venue to take that picture. Mm. The person probably bustled their way. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you're really saying, oh, right, I should have gone for this event, but I didn't have money, and this person is here bothering me. I don't know if she's even snuck into the event. So just don't. <laughs> You've got experience. <laughs> yes. <no. laughs> uh, so just don't sit down there and just be yeah. like, oh. No, nah, just, best thing is to do is just be your best, best version of yourself. Best version of yourself. Work on yourself, and I think, yeah, mm -hmm. you'll be fine. We'll, be, we'll all be fine, you know. So Life. It might not be your time to blow it. So. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. it's true. Okay, so the next question is What steps do you take towards becoming more vulnerable and open with your friends, um, loved ones, instead of usually keeping everything to yourself, especially when you you need to you need a release? Hmm. Mm -hmm. the long one. This is a, this is a serious one. Okay. I feel like being vulnerable is is like is like an integral part of every relationship. Yeah. Like whether it's friendship or with your ask God for help <laughs> because it's not easy. It's not because uh, as much as I can tell you, okay, um, try and like you know just be more open. But it, it's not that easy. Like it's not easy to yeah, just be open. Really yeah, to be close. Yeah, they, like to themselves yeah. and sometimes you just feel like, is there really a point of me sharing this with this person? Will it make it better? Will it make the situation better or or st yeah, or worse? Like, is there really a point? So, kind of like have even if it's just one friend that you know that you can open, up, open up to because if you have all those bottled in like it affects your mental health um mm -hmm. you start to overthink things and yeah I think talking having someone just even if it's one person is a prayer that you should actually <laughs> pray to God like, to pray. like God I mean as much as yeah we look we look for advice here and there from different people but really like it's God that has the answers to this like I feel like Oh, wonderful. You didn't even say anything. <laughs> no, I doing it too. Wow. But One more question. Okay. How to manage money? How I'm a book boy right now. Mm. Mm. You have to know how much you make know how much you spend, then make your budget. Well, that's what everybody's always telling me. Mm -hmm. well, that's what everyone always says, but mm -hmm. it doesn't work for me. <laughs> but yeah, I think if you actually stick to the budget, it will work. Mm -hmm. So you actually have to know how much you make, how much you spend, then you split it into like different categories, then 
you stick to it mm -hmm. then you actually not be broke i think i don't them. live paycheck to paycheck uh -huh, uh -huh. like some of us i think <laughs> living living within your means is one of the ways yes you know, don't try and do too much you know more than you, you know the amount just be reasonable with the amount just you, know yourself exactly know what your pockets can carry simple <laughs> oh i do simple but like I choose to find it really difficult because I always find that when I once when I was working, once money comes in, like almost okay, half of the time it goes out. <laughs> and I'm wondering. Oh, I think. Sorry. <laughs> um, having a budget app kind of yeah, that helps as well. Kind of helps. Up. Yeah, I think it, it helps you know like you know what is coming and what is going what's out happening. so you kind of have like a track record not always like keeping it in your head so you know you know why what can I, what I can be spending on per and week and stuff like that your friend yeah well, that's true. i don't get this nigerian bank statement because <laughs> i don't even see everything that i'm spending on at the same time like, it just shows you where the money is like i don't know how to explain like if you buy stuff at, yes um Ibanuna, yeah it shows where you spend just show you where like and then they take all these stupid charges like why? Why are you doing that? Why? <laughs> I didn't budget piggy bank that you can yeah. lock your money in or something. Oh really? Like I think so. I think it's piggy bank. Share one of those apps you can lock your money. Mm. But then um I think some of them actually let you unlock it and take the money, but you but after pay, a long yeah, and then some of them you have to pay a certain charge if you take it prematurely. Oh so that also helps. But if you need some money, you see I'm me. Just, okay, just this time. As in, in, okay. I, like I feel like it's very difficult to have a save, saving culture in Nigeria because yeah. like first of all the amount of money the average person makes is not that, not much. that much secondly the amount of money you spend mm. on wow. so much of like I Lagos is expensive spicy. breathing it's Lagos you come out of just step out of your house a little exactly. bit a little bit 10k is gone you know <laughs> but yeah I think living within your means and just like yeah Sticking to it, yeah, sticking to your budget. Thanks guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, yes, tell us what you think about you know the questions that we ask and yeah. And you can also drop like more questions you want us to talk Yells, 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 we should do a part two yeah, to this, so yeah. Yes! <laughs> Such a YouTuber behavior. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Bye.